Hey there, Wapsaya. Now, this is something uh, that I knew about for a while, but just wanted to let you, some of you people who don't know. Now, Gido 3.61 just came out. If you are not familiar with the concept that the Gido is being updated for the previous versions as well, this might sound strange. I mean, why is a really old version of Gido being updated? I mean, what's the even point about that this is a maintenance release now maintenance release are releases that are released after a stable version these are in small way optional updates i mean these are updates that will not harm the you know stable releases and mostly wouldn't affect your engine too much they don't really come with the major or even really big features but mostly minor bug fixes and simple quality of life features that may not affect your game development process at all so updating to our maintenance release is mostly just good Gido, uh, Gido uh, 3.6 was released in the last September we're talking 2034 here and after that there have been some you know maintenance and patch releases and uh, this is one of those. The Gido 3.6 version is being updated for the reason that there are many, many developers who might be using the same engine. For example, if you were working on a game in 3.6, you might not want to update to 4 because there are major changes and it can mostly break your game. And there have been thousands of cases of people trying to update their game in Gido 4 and not getting a good result because it is a bit of an unstable way to update though the process of updating your old Gido 3 games to Gido 4 has improved there are still people who just want to prefer you know just prefer using the old version a reason because they are kind of used to it and learning Gido 4 is in some way are learning a whole new engine and that is how Gido is treating it a whole new engine so Gido 4 is being updated separately while some maintenance releases are being released for the Gido 3 branch it's a really good decision in my opinion for people who prefer the older versions this is a really good idea and this is a really nice gesture i would say for Gido and it's really good so let's just take a look at some of the features not much features here just gonna be minor bug fixes some that uh, you might not even know so this is grid mapping plus in ru ruler in editor small changes to the range uh, you know this colon colon set value unfortunately led to a major regression in the grid and ruler behavior when zoomed in so it's just a bug fix as i said it's a major bug fix then uh, we decided to balance the safest course for action growth 3.x was uh, revenge the changes so any changes that were done to this range you know colon colon set value thingy and it caused an error so they just reverted it then uh, there's uh, some performance recession due to directional shadow phase starts so there's just some of these you know bug fixes here then changes when it comes to changes here are main changes since Kiro. 3.6 stable stable here is highlighted for me so uh, make selected tiles in tile set more visible using a red outline so it's going to be like a red outline when you select tile simple simple thing as i said there are not going to be any major features that you might blow your mind or anything this is just really simple bug fixes and small features that you know needs to be in the engine physics interpolation fix client inter interpolation pump definitely don't know what it is audio uh, initialize pa buffer at atr dot max length to minus one whatever so repo resource importer wave direct if data chunk size is larger than actual size detect if detect if data chunk size is larger than the actual size okay this been some other things like a fix uh, vs project generation with s cons 4.0 8.0 and then a C CL update the Linux runner to Ubuntu 24.04 but keeps 22 plus for Linux build. So it's just gonna be maintenance release. That's the thing about maintenance release. For example, if you're using Gado 
3.6 and there will be something like a library something like a, for example uh, you are exporting your project to ubuntu a new version of ubuntu now now that the engine was built to create like for an older version of ubuntu and something like that to and there is going to be compatibility issues you might not be able to create uh, things for latest operating system latest apis and other kind of stuff if you're creating uh, some kind of like you know plugins and stuff uh, if the libraries and uh, the extensions are not updated there's going to be trouble maintenance release just like maintenance to all the machine they just do things like updating the libraries updating the api request uh, uh, updating the core systems to work with the new versions of uh, uh, things like uh, you know the this thing so this is kind of the main reason maintenance release is kind of made so windows rename keep uh, device friendly name something like that. so this is just the, so these are mainly just build systems is kind of the behind the scene approach of uh, you know developing and rendering all of these things need to be kept up to date so to so they can work with modern hardware and modern software so this is why maintenance releases are made then we got some C sharp changes then we got some core changes here and there and things like op documentation is an important thing things like documentation needs to be improved constantly to help uh, new developers get guide faster this is things that needs to be updated constantly even for previous versions really really good go is open source so it's not like a company has you know kind of have to spend extra money on that stuff they needs to be spent after money but the uh, thing is that they if uh, someone is committed to working with guru 3.6 they are just gonna work with that version you cannot just force them to work with the, the later versions so contributors working on older version is just uh, a community thing and it's really good i'm sure guru is uh, like spending their burning their money on this older version as well but it's i think it's not really a bad necessarily a bad thing there's some gui updates uh, i think the button feature is added now no no i think this i saw button here so uh, so this is gonna be like yeah th this one was fixed uh, i need about this one so so the, the it's it's good there is nothing that you know would say that kind of changes the engine in an way and that is a whole purpose you don't want to change the engine you want to maintain it so really good thing i mean if they were good changes made it to to to, to the like uh, good 3.6 branch that this wouldn't be really be the you know motive of the creating a whole separate branch if you are like literally just updating it why not just keep it up to date i know hard to understand what i say sometimes so uh, this is the whole blog you can get it uh, right here i'll leave the link in the description and uh, yeah definitely they are doing something really good and uh, that's it for today's video and i'll see you in the next one